I woke up this morning and was shocked to discover that actor Gavin O'Herlihy has passed away. The son of Oscar-nominated actor Dan O'Herlihy was just 70 years old at the time of his passing. At this time, there are no additional details regarding his death. Born in Dublin, Ireland, Gavin attended Trinity College and was an avid tennis player. He actually even became an Irish national champion. But somewhere along the way, Gavin caught the acting bug. I remember Gavin best from his brief stint on Happy Days where he played Richie's older brother Chuck during the first season of that show. Another actor played Chuck even more briefly during the second season. And then Chuck was gone for good, never to be mentioned again. You see, as the show developed and the writers really started to explore the relationship dynamics between the characters on Happy Days, it became clear to all that the Fonz could be something of a pseudo big brother to Richie. And all that was getting in the way was the real big brother who never really had much to do in the plot lines anyway. When Gavin O'Hurlihy saw the writing on the wall midway through the first season, he asked to be let out of his contract. In the 80s, Gavin was cast in a very successful British television series called We'll Meet Again. And while there, he made the decision to stay in the UK. That decision did not stop him from getting work. In fact, the 80s were something of a heyday for Gavin. I remember him well as washed up jock Brad Wilson in Superman 3. And who can forget him as Mad Mardigan's old friend and mentor in Willow? He was also part of the cast in the highly acclaimed television miniseries Lonesome Dove. The 90s saw Gavin take on a wide variety of guest starring roles in television shows like Twin Peaks and Star Trek Voyager. And now news comes of Gavin's passing as first reported by the Irish Echo, the oldest Irish American newspaper in the United States. I really like the picture that they chose to use of Gavin. And I also think it's great that they acknowledge the broad variety of roles that he has taken on over the years. All right, that is it. Here's one more picture of Gavin in action, this time from the 2009 horror thriller, The Descent Part Two. Now it's your turn. Please share your memories of Gavin in the comments section. And if you enjoyed remembering Gavin's career with me, please click on that little thumbs up icon and give this video a like. And what the heck? Why not consider subscribing to my little channel? I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.